One thing that I've always felt separated Marvel from DC was the fact that Marvel more often allows their characters to be imperfect beings, to make some horrible mistakes. Now, that isn't fully accurate as DC does allow this from time to time, but you get my general point. On the whole, more of Marvel's main cast of characters are more human than DC's tend to be. One character who I think exemplifies that more than any within Marvel's stable of heroes has got to be Wanda Maximoff, aka the Scarlet Witch. It seems like for every great deed that she commits, there is an equally horrible tragedy that she's responsible for as well. And in this video, I'm gonna look at a handful of some of the worst things that she's ever done, because why not? Worth noting though, I'm not gonna be talking about House of M, mainly because I feel like we've talked about it a lot on this channel already. Just know that if I was gonna add another entry, it would be that story arc. And don't worry, there is at least one entry on this list that is related to it, so it'll get at least a little bit of lip service. Anyways, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into it. I guess the very first place to start when talking about the worst things Wanda has ever done is logically the actual beginning of her history as a comic character. As the daughter of Magneto, the leader of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, Wanda was brought into the fold, spending the earliest days of her comic career as an antagonist, often facing off against the X-Men and even the early roster of the Avengers. Which is an interesting way of presenting the character. Definitely a pretty fun beginning. And her starting off as a villain isn't necessarily a horrible thing. There are actually quite a few Avengers who started off their comic careers as bad guys. Black Widow, Hawkeye, Wonder Man, all of these characters started off as antagonists. So Wanda being a villain first, then becoming a hero, isn't the horrible thing that I'm gonna be talking about here. Because you know what is bad about being part of Magneto's crew? The fact that the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants was effectively a terrorist group. A terrorist group that did what they did because they thought they were the superior race. Mutant supremacist terrorists. That's pretty bad. For what I feel like are obvious reasons. And the comic version of the character isn't the only one that started off as a bad guy working for a horrifically awful villain. Wanda's MCU counterpart also made the kind of understandable but equally crap choice of siding with the baddie at first. In this case, Ultron. Someone who hates everyone equally, so I guess that's at least slightly less horrible than a racist terrorist. And in the end, both versions of Wanda wound up seeing the error of their ways and joined up with the Avengers. But that was just the beginning of a path of horribleness that would lead to the deaths of many people who didn't deserve it, including several of her friends. But, you know, that's kind of part of what makes Wanda the character that she is. Here's a fun fact, my absolute favorite Marvel character is in fact Wanda Maximoff. I just really enjoy reading about the hot mess that is her life. Really makes me feel better about my own. That and I kind of have a thing for redheads. Anyways, none of that has anything to do with Axis. I just didn't know how to segue into this entry. In the Axis story arc, Red Skull unleashes the Red Onslaught on the world, which is basically Red Skull combined with the psychic powers of Charles Xavier. Yeah, it's just as terrifying as it sounds. In order to try to stop him from taking over the world, Wanda wound up teaming up with Dr. Victor Von Doom, all to cast a spell that inverted the morality of the world's heroes and villains. Which doesn't exactly sound like the best plan in the world when you think about it for longer than about three seconds, especially because this spell also inverted Wanda's sense of morality, turning her into a villain. Well, okay, more of a villain than she was before, at least. I get that this is a list of some of the most horrible things that she's ever done, so calling her a hero is a bit questionable. But, I mean, she was an Avenger, so it still kind of counts. But as messed up as Wanda screwing with the minds of all of her friends and allies is, this arc did do some kind of cool stuff. Seeing Carnage acting like a hero, legitimately going around and saving people, was easily a highlight. So I guess it just goes to show that when Wanda is at her worst, the stories are often at their best. I figure I should include at least a couple of her MCU appearances here, since the film version of Wanda Maximoff is just as legitimate of a variant as any of her comic counterparts. And there are a few moments that I could definitely choose from. Her initially siding with Ultron was pretty bad, but I already mentioned that in that first section. Blowing up that hotel in Lagos was a tragedy, but an accident, not something that she intended really. 
And then there's what happened in Westview. The events of WandaVision might honestly be one of the most absolute worst things that Wanda has ever done, regardless of the medium. She magically subjugated an entire town full of innocent people including children, mind you, and forced them to act out her weird sitcom fantasies. And based on the reaction of those who managed to be freed from her control, we can infer that it was a rather horrible thing to have happen to someone, pretty much akin to torture. So she tortured an entire town all at once, just because she felt bad about the death of Vision. Listen, losing someone close to you is horrible. It's awful, it sucks, I've been there, especially when it's a significant other. And I also recognize that Wanda probably had it worse than pretty much anyone else, as not only did her loved one die, but he died twice right in front of her within a very short period of time. And one of those times was by her own hand. That's gonna mess pretty much anyone up. However, that still does not justify in any way what she did to the people of Westview. And sure, she did eventually let them all go and do the right thing in the end. And there is some debate as to whether or not she even consciously did it in the first place, but Wanda still did it. And that's not even to mention that doing all of that led her down an even more horrible path leading to what she did in Multiverse of Madness. But we'll get to that here shortly, don't worry. WandaVision also showed us the MCU version of Wanda's children, Tommy and Billy. In the show, she kind of just generates them out of thin air, using chaos magic, which was questionable at best, but the way they came about in the comics initially was actually a tad bit worse. You see, at this point on the page, Wanda and Vision were happily married, making their way through the world together. And to build on top of their own joy, Wanda eventually revealed that she was somehow pregnant. Just like on the show, this was presented as something that should be impossible. While Vision is a sentient living entity, he is still just a synthoid, unable to reproduce in the traditional sense. And yet, there was Scarlet Witch, very pregnant. Well, it was later on revealed that she had used her magic to bring her children into existence. Which, as I said, is questionable, but really not that bad, I guess. What is bad is the fact that unbeknownst to everyone, including Wanda herself, she actually used fragments of Mephisto's soul to create the kids. It's probably not the best idea to create children out of fragments of what is basically the devil himself. Of course, like most things in the comics, the status quo was eventually restored when Agatha Harkness came in clutch and took out the kids while also wiping Wanda of her memories of the children. But you know, that didn't exactly go as planned. It worked out for a little while, but eventually it caused some problems. Once Wanda did remember her children, having her memory accidentally jogged by an offhanded comment by Wasp, she kinda went a little nutty. First, she tracked down Agatha Harkness, demanding that she tell her what happened to her children shortly before she killed her and left her body to rot. From there, she went on a heck of a bender, launching several attacks against the Avengers, all of which were masked by her chaos magic to appear as unrelated events. First, she sent the reanimated corpse of Jack of Hearts to the Avengers mansion, and he subsequently exploded, destroying a good chunk of the building and killing Scott Lang in the process. Next, she controlled Vision and sent him after the team, which ended with She-Hulk going berserk tearing Vision in half and injuring several heroes, putting them in the hospital. And finally, she made it appear as though a Kree warship attacked Earth, which ended with Hawkeye sacrificing his life, getting blown up violently. That is bad. In the end, Wanda was defeated by Doctor Strange and sent away to try to deal with her fractured psyche as the team was left in shambles. The next time we saw Wanda was actually at the very beginning of House of M as her mental state had degraded even further. So much so that some people thought it was best to just kill her to avoid any possible tragedies from happening down the line. Quicksilver naturally didn't like that idea. And thus the events of the whole arc played out, leading to the near destruction of mutant kind, all because of the loss of her children. In fact, a lot of the worst things that Wanda has done over the years have in some way 
been related to her children. So, you know, all in all, not a great time for pretty much anyone. Were the Avengers disassembled and House of M arcs completely her fault? She was in a mentally and emotionally fragile state brought about by the loss of her children, which is understandable. But, you know, she still did it. As I said, Wanda's children factor into a lot of her bad decisions and awful behavior in a lot of stories. And that is just as true within the MCU as it is in the comics. Honestly, I could just include the entirety of Multiverse of Madness right here in this entry and call it a day. Just be like, hey look, this movie happened. That was pretty bad, right? Because she went from one of Earth's mightiest heroes to one of the most dangerous villains in the entire franchise. All within the span of this one film. Well, okay, WandaVision did kind of sort of build up to it, but not as much as you would have expected. However, as opposed to looking at the entire film, the one action that she takes that I want to draw particular attention to is her dream walking into the body of Wanda from Earth 838, taking her over entirely, which she then used to hunt down America Chavez, killing the members of the Illuminati in the process. So this is pretty horrible for two major reasons. First, we've got the whole taking over control of a variant version of herself against her will thing. This is an example of a time when Wanda used her chaos magic to take over someone else and force them to do things against their will. In this case, some rather horrible things that presumably this Wanda would not have done otherwise. Admittedly, we know very little about Wanda from Earth 838, but it's probably pretty safe to assume that she had no intention of killing a bunch of people. Especially considering the Wanda that we see in Xavier's little mind probe really looks like she's not enjoying herself. And speaking of killing people, she took out the vast majority of the Illuminati, this Earth's team of heroes, in some very gruesome ways. That right there, by the way, the whole killing the Illuminati thing, is the second reason why this is totally not cool. And to make matters slightly worse, later on in the movie, MCU Wanda shows up in 838 Wanda's house unexpectedly, and more than likely completely traumatizes her kids. Okay, so that one is partially on America for taking her there in the first place, but that's just the nice little cherry on top of this god-awful Sunday of pain and misery. And what was this all for? What was Wanda hoping to achieve by doing all this? She wanted to get a hold of America so that she could take her powers then go to some other Earth where her kids were still alive and well. That's all sweet and very motherly, I guess, but as Doctor Strange brought up to her, what would then happen to that Earth's Wanda? I mean, you can't just have two moms for these children just running around. I mean, I guess you can, but not two of the same person, at least. I'm willing to bet it probably would not end so well for the Wanda from that world. And you could tell that MCU Wanda was definitely conflicted by that at least a little bit. Hey there everybody, I'm John Algetz. I'm in this video and I wanna know what you think. What is the worst thing that Wanda has ever done in your opinion? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below or go ahead and shoot me a response over on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to CBR for more great videos just like this in the future.